so it's time to go to the Subtense Painter and learn a little about its interface. So I'm going to start with the basics and uh, I get into this uh, model into Subtense Painter. So basically I would say this Subtense Painter is just more, more advanced and 3D interface uh, like uh, uh, of Photoshop and also has a 3D view. So here in Subtense we can identify several parts. So through which we will devise, we will drive a center part and the most primitive uh, is where we will import our 3D model here. And this is where we can work and it would be like this viewfinder. So what we are going to do is uh, it's a part of that we has this kind of space. So from this type uh, side uh, here below we have this part of materials. So right now we are selecting this smart material part. Now you can see here we have these whole set of material available. Now so which we can work with easily. So we also have these alpha that allow us to create a, a mask and uh, also add uh, we can add these special design use them as a normal maps here. So these help us to create a displacement. We also have these effects of dirt and dust uh, kind of. So we have these procedure material to add a texturing system. So over here we have this specific texture here. So we have a select section of this normal maps. Uh, these type of button. So we have fur material if we have texturing something organic or natural. So we have filters such as lights, rush, brightness and uh, uh, many more so we have different type of brushes to add uh, effects so when we paint we have these particles to add effects here now uh, we can add like dirt muds and that kind of things so we have some tools to generate more effects here so as we going to this but uh, the one we have will use the most is this kind of particular part of one lesson so the one we'll use the will be a alpha section and material and smart materials. So what is the difference between material and smart material here? So a material has a quite limited control. So where uh, when we apply it on geometry, it has limited control on it. And in smart material, we can control almost all its component like normal uh, displacement and all. So we can even combine a part of it this our another material also. So that's why we get a new material in a new result. So we will get into inter interesting result when working. So on this left side we have this tool panel. And uh, as in Photoshop it is fact quite similar here. So we have this brush and the eraser. And we have a tool of project here. So either an image or a texture is a center area of this 3D model. And we have selection option of mask here. Also the tool of clone, dropper and it extra. So they are almost like a same tool as a Photoshop. So and now here we have the part of these material properties that we are using here. And that is in this part we will create a framework of differentiates. So here we will have a layer of section. Now you can see. So in our this case in this van we use the four tiles UDIM. So here we will have four layers that we will appear in this part here. Now because we are using a four tile UDMI then we have the layers part. So this is my layer parts. You can see. So here we have each tiles of our UDMI and uh, here below we have the described uh, the different materials. So now which will also be assigned as a layer here and uh, from this tiles we will have a series of layers. So that will make up your texture system. And uh, then at the bottom we have these property box. Now you can see uh, if we have uh, added any texture over the material uh, over the object 
like uh, dirt paint uh, let's say this is the dirt paint layer so if you uh, then for this it turn would have a different properties so it will just expand these further properties and uh, control or modify its parameter so we have this udmi tiles here so which is turn breaks down in the texture layer so each layer that will have its properties which will we can modify here now we also have in this side section and uh, texture settings uh, here we find this option to do the uh, baking uh, so bake is a combination or calculation uh, kind of uh, so for example of ambient normal and the uh, and the positions so these are the different structure or components of our, of our model so that will allow the material that we assign them to act better so the texture setting will be tab uh, that we here we can control in fact it will be the first one we use when we importing this model so we also have a very important part up here you can see so it's a little tab and uh, there we have a display option so if we want to have an orthogonal or a prospective view so if we want to visualize the model in 3d or in 2d uh, let's say or in both the sides so this is we can visualize in this viewer port so about this uh, 3d model so the 3d model together with this udmi is which uh, simply the udmi and we can also take a tour of these scenes and also take a render here 